Hi, it's Ed Kramer, and welcome to my CGI History Channel. We've been looking at contributors to a show I co-curated for the New York SIGGRAPH chapter way back in 1986. And uh, today we'll finish up the reel sent to us by one of the, the world's greatest original CGI companies, uh, Digital Productions. At the time they sent this reel, both of the high-tech companies that had uh, provided financing for digital productions were breaking up or going out of business. The world's first Cray XMP supercomputer was a digital production's rendering engine, and uh, apparently it cost roughly $12,000 a month just for electricity. Uh, my friend Dave Sieg, who was the chief engineer for Omnibus, estimates that uh, the Cray cost another $50,000 every month just for the maintenance and support crew, uh, whom he referred to as the Crayons. So uh, no wonder the company was primed for the hostile takeover by Omnibus right around the time they were editing the reel you guys are watching right now. So uh, for more details on this really historic company and uh, their projects, you should uh, check out Terrence Masson's excellent book, CG 101. Plug for my buddy. Um, I've been uh, fortunate you know, in my career to have worked closely with some of the alumni of digital productions, including uh, Kevin Rafferty, who led the modeling team for The Last Starfighter at DP, and uh, years later was my CG supervisor on Jurassic Park The Lost World. Digital Productions also set up a division to do computing and production work for the business and science communities, and Stefan Fangmeier was uh, one of the leaders of that group, so I was really lucky uh, later on when Stefan was my visual effects supervisor on both Twister and The Perfect Storm, uh, both of which garnered him visual effects Oscar noms. So uh, Stefan also went on to uh, direct the movie Aragon. Through SIGGRAPH events and parties over the years, I've also met a number of DP alumni, including Bill Croyer, who animated the Hard Woman music video and created the Flying Owl for the uh, David Bowie movie Labyrinth. Also, Brad DeGraff, the head of production at DP, and his uh, future production company partner, Michael Warman. And last year, I was incredibly lucky to interview uh, both Gary Demos, the co-founder of DP, and Art Dorinsky, who joined DP after working on Tron. Uh, I was interviewing them for my upcoming documentary, The Wizards of Hollywood. And I've also been to a number of amazing parties of CGI old-timers at Philippe Bergeron's amazing house at an undisclosed location. Uh, so before leaving the digital productions uh, team, we've got to name some other notable pioneers from the crew. Uh, of course, there's the other co-founder, John Whitney Jr., whose father was among the first people in history to use a computer to generate images. And I've heard uh, that producers Nancy St. John and Sherry McKenna ran a really well-oiled machine and knew how to keep clients under control. Huh. At one point, uh, apparently, there were about 100 employees, and some of the names that are uh, found on Wikipedia and in various sources include Elsa Granville, Emily Nagel-Green, Kevin Bjorke, Jim Rapley, Walter Gish, Paul Isaacs, Craig Upson, Larry Yeager, Chris Bailey, Phil Sherwood, Kerry Colonna, Jim Rigel, and Mario Camberg, and I'm sure I'm leaving out many, many people. And um, I would assume that much of the work you've been watching while I've been droning on like this was created by those very artists who all had to find new jobs just a few short months after they put this reel together. See you next week.